So, if you've watched our previous videos, we parked up in Bowness on Windermere, spent a few hours exploring there and then caught the ferry to Ambleside. The videos of the ferry ride are already up, as is the one for Bowness on Windermere. Check out our Lake District playlist in the description below. Before we start, my name is Nettie and if you are new to Ears and Ideas or have just not sub yet subscribed, please consider doing so. It is free to subscribe and really helps my channel develop and grow. Anyway, back to the video. So while the ferry in theory is taking us to Ambleside, it is in fact taking us to Ambleside Pier. The walk to the town of Ambleside is around a 15 to 20 minute walk, mainly along a relatively busy road, although there are footpaths. We start the video on a pretty journey to Ambleside on the stunning Lake Windermere. Being on the lake provides such a lovely means to see the area as we get closer to Ambleside Pier. Okay, so we've arrived at Ambleside Pier, also known as Waterhead Pier. The ferry terminal here dates back to 1845. Time now for the mile or so walk to Ambleside and to enjoy the lovely scenery on the way. Now oh, this is cute. Welcome to our companion bench. Need a friend? Then have a seat. This buddy bench is just for you. It won't be long. Just look around and someone will soon join you. Sit, chat, ask a question. There are no strangers here. Only friends you haven't met yet. <laughs> nice. We have a wander through the quintessentially British Rothay Park. What a lovely green space for the community and its visitors. The houses around Ambleside are just beautiful with many of them built with locally sourced slate. As with many of the towns around the Lake District, there are many independent stores and cafes, all with frontages that fit in perfectly with the surroundings. And even where there are high street brands, they equally fit in with their surroundings, making it a big reason why these high street stores are surviving where others aren't around the country. They are just beautiful. The Bridge House is an iconic 17th century structure in Ambleside and is now owned by the National Trust after being donated by local residents. Bridge House straddles Stock Beck, that's the uh, body of water that's uh, flowing underneath it. The house has had many uses over the centuries and at one time even housed a family of eight. some lunch and the Flying Fleece is our restaurant of choice and the timing couldn't be better as the heavens opened shortly after we sat down. We had a great window seat in the Flying Fleece and the pie and mash was absolutely amazing.
fabulous few hours having a wander around Ambleside and eating a delicious lunch, it is now time to walk back to the pier and get the ferry back to Bowness. We head back the way we came, but this time we pop into Borrens Park. This is cute too. Welcome to Borrens Park. Here you can relax on the grass, scrape for picnics, paddling and enjoying the view. People have been drawn to this beautiful shoreline for centuries. This park was once a Roman settlement with a road leading to a fort. You can see the remains of the fort in the Nibar field, which is managed by the National Trust. We didn't get out close to the fort remains, but you can see the white information boards in the field. Okay, back on board the ferry for our pretty ride back to Bowness on Windermere. Thank you for watching our lovely day in Ambleside. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and I will see you next time. Bye.